So we've got an. How dare you! Finish noodles. Oh, don't start. Oh, don't start that again. Thank you. I'm a brick shit house. Lydia has replaced the toilet seat, so I thought it was worthy of vlog time. Look at that. What's well, a weird shape? It is a weird shape. So how much does it cost you? Uh, like twelve pounds. Yeah, I can see. Why is? <laughs> I can't wait to sit down on that and have my legs touch the bowl. Is it, why is it so thin here? I've it's never. It. No, I'm okay. So I've just ordered the hampers. I've ordered 55 and they cost me just shy of a tenner each. Um, they're really good quality ones though, like the proper buckles on the outside. So uh, I wanted something that would be usable forever, as I've said in another video. That does mean that these hampers are going to be quite expensive. I'm looking at around selling them for $44.99. The total of the goods that comes into, that come into it equates to around £42 if you bought them all separately so you're only paying a £2 extra to have it in that hamper which I feel is a hell of a bargain if you ask me considering it's going to take us a lot of time and effort to make each one as well but I think that's a good price point and good value for money. I was going to do smaller ones but this year I just don't have the capital to invest in smaller ones next year I will probably get them at this well what I want to do is buy them all in February because that's when a lot of them will be going cheap because no one's buying hampers for stuff in February or I might even be able to get them wholesale some like go on Alibaba and then not have to worry about it taking three months to get to me oh I bought them I'm gonna drink them <laughs> I'm only getting uh, 55 hampers in I'm not gonna do pre-orders because I know you guys aren't, but so many people are incapable of understanding what a fucking pre-order is. Right, so yesterday on UK Love's uh, Chinese Takeaway Facebook group, um, I put my post up, well, I shared the chicken ball video. And there were a couple of people on there that said, flour is flour. Um, I just use the Lidl's one because it's cheaper and it, it tastes the same. Which is, I get that's your opinion, which is absolutely fine. It just means your palate's not refined enough to t be able to tell the difference. Because we obviously did, and even dad, who's not even a foodie, could tell the difference. So to say there is no difference, it, in a blind test that we did, it just doesn't make sense. It makes you look like you can't accept what you've just seen and you're a bit of a bellend. And then there was another guy, I think his name was Dan Curwell or something like that. And he was going, I think you're fine, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, um, oh, you shouldn't talk to someone of 76 like that. And I said, one, I didn't say anything other than your palate isn't as refined as, as mine obviously is. And if you're gonna say stuff like that, of course I'm going to we'll say, no, you're wrong because I've, I've proven you're wrong. I didn't, I wasn't disrespectful. I was once actually disrespectful, but that's because they were getting um, a bit touchy, which you do over the internet. Yeah, long story short, we, we just went, for the first time ever, someone went, um, okay, I surrender, I, I believe you. And I went to them, look, if you want to use the flour because it's cheaper, that's absolutely fine, but don't tell me after proving it that it's the same because I've proved it and now you're saying it's the same. But if it was the same, then how could we tell the fucking difference? And then the chef guy called Dan Curl pipes up and, and was like, I've been a chef for 20 years. So, I know chefs that have been chefs for 20 years and they're still fucking shit. In fact, I know loads of chefs and I don't call 90% of them actual chefs, I call them cooks. Oh, I work in the kitchen and stuff and I look at what they bring out and I'm like, this is home cooking food, this isn't chef food. I've been working, well, in fact, I could run three walks, three 45 kilowatt walks by the age of 12. I'm now 35, so don't give me over 20 years, well over 20 years here. When you were 12, you are probably just having your first wank. You fucking moron. You made yourself look like a shit chef as well. It matters, because you were like, oh, flour matters when you're using pastry. Well, yeah, obviously, but it doesn't matter when you're doing stuff like this. Well, it does, because it's fucking chemistry, you moron. You literally, like, when it comes to anything with flour, it's chemistry. If you get it wrong or it's slightly different, it tastes off. You you can contradicted yourself in in a way that made you look like you were stupid, and you you are absolute moron. And then what I did was, I just had enough, and I, I was like, I've, I've already had one win tonight. Someone's saying, okay, I give up. And I get that people are looking after the bottom line. The little flower was good. It just wasn't as good as Green Dragon. That's what we said. So uh, it's 
people get defensive because they, they want to save money and they think, well, you're calling me cheap. Yeah, yeah, I am calling you cheap, but that's not a bad thing. Just admit it. I'm cheap sometimes. I, I won't spend money on certain things because I'm cheap and I don't want to spend that much money when I can get exactly the same sort of thing. It won't be as good, but pretty much near enough. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Just don't get offended when someone calls you out. And then, um, can't remember where I was going with this. What was I originally talking about? Chef, not being able to use flower chemistry. Oh yeah, so I remember where I was at now. I literally just went, I, you know what, I'm done and I can't be bothered to read. So I didn't read any of his comments afterwards. And um, I, I like to do that because it means that even if they do reply, I'd never know. And I don't care what they say because like, if, if I just keep going, I will just keep going until, uh, until one of us just stops talking. I'll go till seven o'clock in the morning if they want to keep talking shit. And the best way for me is literally, well, for two reasons, walking away and just going, oh, I'm not going to read your reply or I didn't read or whatever. And just walking away only irritates them because then they would, I've never, I don't have a clue what you said. I don't care. You've wasted your time doing that. <laughs> and even if they think I read it, well, I've just made them look stupid anyway because I haven't. Again, wasted your time. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I just, uh, I just, that's my favorite. That's what I used to do a lot with, um, don't really get them that much anymore, but a lot with trolls. Just keep going, keep going, help my analytics. And then I'll just go, didn't read. And they'd, they'd always reply something. And then a couple of years later, I'll go back and read it. And they go, I know you've read this, blah, blah, blah. Well, if I had read it, in all honesty, at that very moment of time, I cannot help myself. I'm the most triggered person I know, and I would have to reply, regardless. Even if I said, I'm not gonna re read it. If I read it, I'd have to reply, so I just don't read them. It saves me a lot of headache and time. And then within like, <laughs> literally after typing didn't read, we'll quite literally forget about it. It's gone like that and no longer care. <laughs> Which I think is quite, it's, it's, it means I can never lose because I can never see what they've done. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Here we have all of the baskets that we're going to be sending out the there's gift baskets in for Christmas. I've only got 55 of them. I'm limiting them to 55. And that is the basket itself, which I think is lovely. But like I said, these were not cheap. Like, not, not even close. <laughs> so, that's okay. We've already come up with an issue, is that the chopsticks and those American style containers, along with prawn, Prawn along with fortune cookies won't fit in here. So I've got it all nicely put in, but the book has to be on the outside. But I was talking to Lydia and she says she buys hamp, hamp, Hamptons, hampers all the time for people. And she says that they never come made. She goes, she spent a fortune on one before. She gets got way less stuff than this and it wasn't even put together. It just came and then you kind of had a self assemble. So I think I'll be okay with having the book outside Oh, I can fit it in there. Oh, it's just a bit, a bit tight. I can't fit all the fortune cookies I want to fit in either. So, got a couple of Patreon shoutouts to do. Um, first one is to Steve Braytram. I'm not sure I shouted you out last time. I meant to. I wrote your name down, and I think I might have forgotten. So, if I have, um, here's your second shout out. If I haven't, welcome. Uh, next one is to Random Nothingness. Thank you very much for becoming a Patreon and to Stephen Wilson, even though I think he's cancelling this one and going onto the Chinese, well, onto Jang's Patreon page, which is absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd check that out because it went through. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, guys. So that's kind of the hamper as is. 45, but it has to be so expensive because like the, uh, the hamper itself is fucking expensive. I might do a version without the book and it'd be sort of like 35 quid. So you might as well just put the extra tenner in and get the um, the whole hamper. So I've put my hampers up for sale. Um, my web store, I don't know why I found that so difficult to say. I think I was trying to think of something smart and clever instead of just look like a wanker. Anyway, so they're up on sale and within the first minute of telling Patreons, because I haven't made it wide knowledge, we've already sold three of them and I've only got 55. And there's a reason for that is because stock is actually quite difficult and I'm limited on what I can order from my suppliers. And also because I've got to pay for the 
hampers up front. I didn't want to get too many that I wouldn't sell. So I thought if I could get 55 out, that would be quite, that would give me a, a what's the word? A datum point, a reference for next year. So I know that if I sell 55 before the end of November, I know in December I can get, I should, well, I know next year for October, I need to be ordering three times as many boxes or hampers. And I'll do um, same sort of numbering and the same sort of year thing. So every time the book will be different. So it won't just be, it'll be like a, a, li a, a limited run. So this one will have 55 in and the next will have X amount. If I do a second run of this, which I doubt I will do, um, it would be a second run and then it'll go from zero to whatever the second run is. So people can know that their book is unique, which I think is quite nice. Maybe that's just the collector coming out of me. I don't know. Did you enjoy your McDonald's noodles? Yeah, that's probably thank you. Really good. Oh, fuck me. Why, what? Oh, McDonald's supplies are going up and up, are they? Start yeah. around. Oh, fucking hell. Have you got one up? You can tell which is our favourite, because um, there's less of it. Every time we go, we buy loads. <laughs> gel, 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 all right. Just filming another Uncle Rogers video, I think. Remember, this isn't going to be on main channel. This is only going to exist on Chin and Chew TV. So if anyone didn't go and subscribe to Chin and Chew TV, you won't see this video. That's called rubbish. Maybe next time you throw it away, yeah? Fuck off, you little <laughs> bastard. Right, so Tom Man is all nice and fluffy today because he's all cold from being outside. Yeah. Hello, people. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> so yeah, me and Lydia are dressing up for this hallowed eves. Is that the right word? Did you say Halloween? Of this Halloween. Is that the right way of saying it? For this Halloween, yeah. So like, we're dressing up for this Christmas. Yeah, we're dressing up for the Halloween. And... This Halloween. Yeah, the, the, Halloween. the Halloween. And... Stop standing like Michael Scott as well. <laughs> I have a strong stance. I won't tell you what we are dressing up as. I don't know what Lydia is, and Lydia doesn't know what I am. Oh no, she does now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not allowed to. I don't know what Lily's gonna dress up as. I don't know, someone who's chilled. <laughs> yeah, it's the easiest thing to dress up as because then I don't have to get a costume. No, but you've got to pretend to be chilled, which is gonna be impossible. I'm chilled! I'm chilled! <sighs> Tom Man looking at us like he's a prick, because he is. Eh? Mm -hmm. He's also got two dinner plates, and I don't know why. Eh? Did you fancy man? One for starter, one for main, eh? Oh. So I'm gonna leave the vlog there today because I've got a mountain of stuff to fucking go through and it's about, it's nearly VAT time as well so I wanna get a head start on that so I'm not late again. Just throw that way, it's been in there for a few weeks. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell. Well, what, when's it's best before? Chocolate milk. Um, it says, once open, consume within two days. Right, it's well before, well after two days, throw it away. Well, yeah, it's like two weeks. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so on that milk bombshell, I bid you adieu. Baby tall old man. Baby tall man. He's he like, says bye. Like <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And as always, remember, stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin out.